Torun is one of the most beautiful and worth-seeing cities of Poland. The old town is situated on the right bank of the river Vistula and is still surrounded by parts of the huge fortress wall that originally protected the whole town. In the Middle Ages, the city was part of the Hansa, an association of trading cities. Impressive city gates and massive city walls with emporiums of up to four storeys were built along the banks of Vistula, which had the function of a natural harbour. Just behind the wall is the ruin of the once mighty fortress of the German Order of Teutonic Knights, which was built on the site of an older castle after 1236. It was destroyed during the citizens' uprising against the rule of the order. The Gothic Jacobi Church dates from the first half of the 14th century. In the beginning, the Cistercians looked after it, then the Benedictians followed. Then came Protestants, then again the Benedictines, until this order was abolished in 1834. The central nave is higher than the aisles, which is rather unusual. and the Baroque High Altar is decorated with an image of St. James. The history of the Crusaders is still omnipresent today. Indeed, the Teutonic Order was once called to evangelize the pagan Prussians. But after their victory, they wanted to rule themselves. There were repeated power struggles until a popular uprising became the starting signal for the Crusaders' retreat. The Esken House is located behind the cathedral. The Esken family had the former Gothic house converted into a Renaissance palace at the end of the 16th century. It was only in the 19th century that the house became a storehouse, the so-called Red Store, and more recently, a museum. Not to be overseen are the three roofs and the massive tower of the cathedral. The Cathedral of St. John the Baptist and John the Evangelist was built between 1236 and 1433. Several chapels and altars make the interior of the church appear much larger. So there is the Copernicus Chapel, or the Chapel of St. Stanislaus Koska, with the adoration of Our Lady. And the monumental Arch of Stars crowns the sacred splendour. Turun is the birthplace of the famous mathematician Nicolaus Copernicus. In the street that bears his name, great attention is paid to his birthplace. Today, the Copernicus Museum is located where the astronomer was born in 1473. The so-called Leaning Tower was originally built to defend and had no wall on the side facing the city, only a connection to the city wall. and various storage houses were used for the temporary storage of trade goods. 
The economic heyday can be seen in the numerous preserved Gothic architectural monuments, which today are used by institutions such as the Copernicus University. The 27-metre-high Church of Mary is a great example of a so-called high hall. With star arch, three equally high naves, but without a tower, which the rules of the order did not allow for. The Franciscan order came to Torun in 1239 and started to build the monastery church, which was connected to the monastery by a cloister. Then came the Lutherans, and then the Bernhardins. The Jesuits own the Church of the Holy Spirit since 1945. Originally, the Protestants built this church in the 18th century, when they lost the old church of the Virgin Mary due to the tumult of Torun. It was supposed to be a house of prayer, not a church. And the interior was decorated in Rococo style, and the walls were painted white. The big marketplace is the centre of the old town, as usual with the distinctive brick town hall and framed by best-preserved Baroque town houses. With the monument of Nicolaus Copernicus. And the frog catcher, who is said to have freed the city from a frog plague with the sound of his violin. The court of Artus was the centre of cultural life, or perhaps the House of Stars, a Baroque jewel. The town hall forms the centre of the square. This enormous brick building stands adjacent to a freestanding tower. The building in its present form was constructed at the end of the 14th century. The museum inside the building presents an extensive collection of armour, weapons, clothing, stone sculptures, furniture and paintings in the rooms of the 17th century. It was thanks to the considerable income from trade that the construction of the town hall could be undertaken. thus creating one of the most magnificent in Europe. Today, the old town of Turun is a wonderfully preserved monument of the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. And as a city that was able to withstand all of these changes, Turun successfully survived. <laughs>